What's up YouTube? This is 410 Auto Tech. Gonna be doing you a quick demonstration on how I diagnose the check engine light. It's gonna be a 12 uh, GMC pretty much express van uh, check engine light. So let's hop into the video and let's see what we got. Alright, so here it is. It's Ethos Edge. Let's play some codes. Let's see what we got. We got P0449, which is a vent solenoid. Um, not typical on these uh, G vans, so. Let's, we're gonna see what we got. Back out. Back out. We're gonna function test. We got to output controls. Evap vent. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so we're gonna go underneath and uh, see if we can hear it come, come on and off. Alright, since we are already down here, uh, I could check that fuse right here. But I'm gonna go in between uh, with, uh, with a test light and it's command on and off. And if it lights up, then we know the entire circuit's good. If it doesn't, then we're gonna check for either power or ground loss. And then we'll go from there. So it can either be a wire issue, a uh, terminal issue, or an ECM issue if that driver is not being commanded closed. So let's go back into it. Alright, well there's a vent solenoid. Right there. Uh, peel back the wires, make sure there's nothing broken physically there at one point. Um, I'm going to run a test real quick see where we get. Uh, first I'm going to hold it so you can see if you can try to hear the sound. I command it on. On. Oh. Not the new sound. So the bench one is not coming on. So now I'm going to show you the, the scan tool when it's turning on and off. Alright. Let's see. Command it on. Not venting. Off. Alright, nothing's happening. Alright, so I have a test light in between. I'm gonna command it on. It's on. No light comes on. Back off. Still no light. So now we are gonna check to see if we have power or ground missing and then we'll go from there right, as you can see I have the terminal in the power side so I'm going to find a good source ground uh, which is up here on this chassis command that ground and that scanner already on and when you look at that we have good power Alright, so now we can check for ground if we wanted to. Alright, so now we're going to trace the harness back and we're going to check. Easiest way is we're going to go to this X101 and see this ground because we're not getting ground here. So we're going to go down to here. See if we get ground here. If we, get, if we don't get ground here, we go further back. And if we did get ground here, then it would be in this portion right here. So, it's a good test. So, we'll go there next and see what happens. So as you can see here, G101. Here's the schematic. Uh, I've already looked up that connector. Connector 4 right here. At that bolt connector right uh, underneath, like the... Uh, Power steering uh, reservoir and master cylinder. It's gonna be a big bolt connector there, and then we're gonna check there and see if, if we have ground. Um, so we're gonna be looking for a white circuit, and then we'll check from there and we'll see what happens. All right, if you see it's down there, some wires all around there. 
but I'm gonna stop the video real quick and remove this to get a little extra room so I can wiggle fit in there and maneuver in there. Wow, look at that. As you can see there, there's some uh, rub through wire, some corrosion there. And I believe that is our white uh, circuit. So what we're going to do is cut it. Well, not cut it. I'll probably uh, pull it apart and then uh, try to splice it and jump it real quick so we can check our functionality to make sure that our vent solenoid is still good or not. And then uh, we'll go from there. So let's let's see. All right, so did a little temporary. As you can see, a little little splice kit right there. So we'll go back on the scan tool, and we'll see if it activates and deactivates as it should. And then we'll go from there and we'll repair this wire. All right, so now we're gonna recheck. Let's see. On. Off. I heard it. So let's see what we get. Let's see if you can hear the audio while I'm, while I'm checking it. Alright, so now we're good. Uh, and we're going to unplug it and put the, put the test light. As you can see, command it on. Light comes on, and it's off, light goes off, iron ground now, so uh, I gotta make a, I'm gonna actually repair, replace the, uh, the terminal, open that uh, connector, replace the terminal, and then put a new wire in between, and run it back a good, low, a good far bit back, and then we'll go from there. So we've uh, verified that our circuit works, or even our vent solenoid works, so, which is a good thing. Well, there you have it, YouTube. That's how uh, we diagnose the check engine light. That's a little bit of a process, but, uh, you know, it changes from vehicle to vehicle, what brand it is, how you diagnose it a little bit. Uh, majority, it's the same, but it just depends. Also, the weather can sometimes be a big indication, on, and depending on the customer's complaint, and all of that, but I uh, hope you liked the video, hope you learned something, uh, drop a like, comment, uh, if you haven't, and subscribe if you haven't already, just let me know what you thought about it, uh, hopefully I can do some more videos, 2019, try to do a lot more videos this year, uh, thank you for watching, this is 410 Auto Tech Out.